Thank you, Elizabeth and Singlemba. Uh, this is a very exciting moment for me today uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, I'm meeting the wonderful members of uh, Dynamic Manipur, which uh, I had met only on the Facebook. So I find them today in full enthusiasm and uh, so very welcoming. And so I am very comfortable uh, to be with uh, every one of them and uh, every one of you. And uh, number two, uh, we will be talking about a very forward-looking I mean forward topic about, uh, say, how to go abroad for higher studies. And so that demands a lot of enthusiasm from you again. And uh, three is that uh, this is uh, my birthday today. Thank you. So we are having a little bit of problem uh, setting up the projects and so in the meanwhile um, I would like to say, uh, talk about uh, uh, who I am a little bit. Uh, may I ask, uh, did you know about me uh, before today, this uh, anyone, if uh, five of you knew about me then uh, I am famous. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think uh, I counted about five. Okay, thank you very much. But uh, I'm not as famous as Mary Com. <laughs> so, and uh, this addressing to, uh, particularly to the students, um, may I know uh, how many of you are postgraduates? Postgraduates. Okay. And uh, how many of you are graduates? Graduates. Okay. I think uh, yeah, most of the students are they are still undergraduates. That's okay. The, this is a beautiful um, combination of the audience uh, and. Uh, so some of you who are undergrads, uh, you will be say, having plenty of time for planning. And so by the time you're ready yeah, to go abroad, then uh, you'll be fully prepared. Excuse me, is the position OK? OK. So, uh, about me, about me, I grew up uh, as a, an average student, and uh, so I, in my career, uh, I had a few, uh, say, first division and uh, then uh, some second divisions. And so uh, I didn't achieve much. And uh, when I look uh, back, this, I know today that the reason why this, I was an average student. Because uh, when I, ha this, uh, I had a feeling about myself that uh, uh, I was still a good student, but uh, my examination results uh, talk something else and so I didn't score very high and uh, the reason is that uh, I didn't work very very hard which is required to be a good student. So the message today I want to give to you all is that uh, uh, many of you say will be going abroad if, uh, say, you desire so. So, I... When I couldn't be a very good student, 
but I grew up as a person who wanted to do uh, many things. And uh, sometimes, say, uh, I tried to be adventurous, and uh, my adventurism just took me sometimes to uh, misadventures. So that's still okay because I learned from the failures, and uh, still this I could proceed. And so uh, today, uh, this uh, I stand before you as somebody uh, who say has experienced a little bit about the this is how the higher studies are in the foreign countries and what kind of things uh, are needed to be done by the people who want to go abroad. Yeah, please go back. So, <clears throat> on the beginning page, I'm trying to show you one picture here. This, the, the mark, the level here is uh, Cross Week at the uh, University of Toronto. Anybody knows about the uh, Cross Week? Okay. And uh, anybody knows about the uh, ranking in uh, universities and the colleges? I think most people know about ragging. So, in most of the developed countries, and uh, so taking the uh, University of Toronto as an example, uh, the beginning in the campus is a very exciting and uh, positive experience for everybody, all the students. In ragging, this uh, there is a negative vibe because. The senior students, uh, they try to harass the, the younger students. So like when they try to impose some kind of discipline. But uh, Cross Week is a totally different experience for the uh, new students when they enter the campus of uh, a new university. And there will be about a week of uh, prolicking and pun making and then so giving Chance to every new student to say mix up with the old students and in a very positive manner and so that's the kind of uh, say uh, <clears throat> scenario in the university campus and then the college campus uh, in the developed countries including Canada. Next please. So today I want to give you an information that uh, Student mobility is uh, quite high today. 4.5 million students are studying outside their own country today at any point of time. And uh, 22 million people are moving from one country to another every year. And uh, in Canada alone, the Canada receives about 100,000 students from other countries in the world. And so, people are moving from one place to another and uh, so looking for opportunities, maybe for higher studies or maybe for job or immigration. And so, people are moving and uh, we should be joining, uh, say, uh, that pattern. That next week. So why do people go abroad for study? Can I speak uh, in Manipuri sometimes? Uh, anybody has a problem? With mix up, okay. So, uh, next please. Uh, no. The previous one. The previous one. No. The previous one. Okay. So people move from one country to another for study. 
for a few reasons. They go for better valued education and then uh, the better facilities when can get uh, the Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I quite say, I quite study to get to country the um, laboratory matics on a pump, the good deal with our media, her city student to the her hand of power pump, we get about from the turning by our way. Other day, her mana way employability hang up a gay color guard that we are a power pound up. The Gina Tagana. Kanada Salaga for a high self key, Tabak Toruge and Kalakan with the US Salaga, UK Salaga, a probably Pesai and a Piva Tabak Toge, Kalakan with the Aduga Sanabu qualification, Tibakan with the Moita Sadi. The Gi immigration Gi, Tagi, student with Takaga, the Dagi, the Lady Ginabagi, Kalaba meeting, when a joint or go for the Kirigasa Piawe. The Gi uh, in search of a good life for some people, uh, say so even from the developed countries, uh, say the students uh, go to uh, say another country uh, just to explore and then happen there. Advice In the world, see the, <coughs> there are about 12,000 universities in the world, uh, in the 179 countries they counted. And uh, so there is a world ranking of the, uh, the universities. So based on the 2014 data, Canada, India, other state the comparison, but some of the other data, from the commentary. Koi say the commentary, adu ki information kiran pizza ding to one. World ranking say the India da koi social work institute, the social work university pane amle adu koi koi si ki data se yeh kaam le dadi world ki rank fifty first fifty university ida India da ki yau bra yeh kaam le dadi am ti yau de. Da ki first two hundred uh, rank Pokemon with the Yao Brandy and Kan with the India, the Gip, uh, Yurusim Pog Yauki. Aduna Kanogi, IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay, see, rank 222, what I did the lay. Aduna, when the scenario for India is like that, then in Canada, uh, there are three universities in the first 50 and the 10 in the first 200 and the 26 in the first 700 at the to urna kena basile adu say most of the advanced universities are concentrated in the us and then many are in uk and then followed by this other country so at the moment urna kena basile aduna aduna di somewhere maybe a advanced country with a Tatlaga, like Tamba and a high sea, a dugi, Tonga Mugi, a Makana, but Maram Ama Soy than a didum, their money in a Makwins, they get them low. We are next. A post secondary education, the way the look and feel to me is in sea, my smile to be Yamna, Karahan Academy, when a study to get over campus in Guna. We PUC pass or matung peer pass or matung reader directly. They go to the university campus and then start the undergrad studies. P B C tambase semoy na sa kaya undergrad study na kawe na aduga kaya job oriented we na aduga kaya post secondary education sa ida peer kaya matung reader sa iya amat toraga ani toraga ahum toraga man toraga sa ida Mui tabak ti na kita ubah kampu sing. Mui sing tu kita wan ya lah thamaga tu na community colleges tu na dah agak tu ada say certificate diploma course for two years, advanced diploma course for three years, 
Adagi in some of them bachelor's degree four years at my talk of on a smile to the structure story more you can also know the way university than a bachelor degree master degree PhD programs the postdoctoral programs the postgraduate certificate and a diploma programs I do think the university run to work at my talk like structure next and I could not suck in a color candidate when a young do you see Factor sagi say applicable to everyone of us. A koi factor kaya yang kado ini. Koi mafam dulu sa lagi koi adum dalam dua ibu climate tu sana dua ira sana roy dua ira. Ayi adapt tu bunga muda orang amoi dra. Adagi in satu bis school dugi reputation kaya no. Adagi India adagi all the way sa lagi arus semua ya son ba adum institute adum lay adum. Adu umbang dah adum sengsa lagi tamuaga di there's no point. Adu na Satu lagi, dah saya lagi, tak ada pun lagi, sekolah lagi, reputation, aduga, atau lagi pangkat lagi, apa mui qualification, atau lagi value, kau ini hana, kau nukum ada kalai, atau lagi expenses kau mui ada kau ni, kau ini tak kira kan, Australia salah kau nukum dua ira, atau lagi US salah kau nukum dua ira, Germany salah kau nukum dua ira, Canada salah kau nukum dua ira, atau sih dua kau ini hana, pray kau mesti sengi, aduga employment market. Ain tak mudah itu pesat sang tak mudah ini, tadi se atau apa various, mui kenapa mui challenges mui amu mui mitor kat mana tu kesat tu ini, aduh tak mudah kat itu tak kui katai, kui tau peng kui ada ke, mohon tu jom peng dua orang, nak kena international dia accept tu berat tu berat, aduh seno mui yang aku mesti sang, aduh ke financial Supports available. Ana pesat sahun sengkau ini nak sagi ada financial resource pada tidur komen sengi. Ana high back yang tidur komen tunggu ada say will be going looking at other requirement. Thanks. Next please. Ana say the you have to be either on board or on gear. The first thing you have to do is know yourself. Koi sounding ears, we say it's an ear. So, that the IG, IG academy of cement scores level, aduga, adagi, aduga, sana ba, sana daba, adugi, adumain toga, hane, IC, satu macam ni dai, adum admission pangandra pangoidra, aduga, salaga pangandra dai na adum kapit toga pangandra ngamoidra, aduba. Advana Hana Kangum Sangi, we have to do a lot of research and then say it's a time taking effort and then you have to knock many doors. I quite Mugi can do a in I line hitter Mugi Pamopodam the oil way and a curve, Piba, the gear, 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 Doi na bang sa gi internet ta ato ka web ta doi na information na dahil mina na doi si Jupi ari. Ay koi na tokong atom doi da di atom scholarship ka gi information ti gi ato ka doi da all the way to Delhi sa si baban na sa ka talaga ato da gi publish mo gi book dead masa pora ka ato da ka iyawin to iyan ka. Ato man to ato doi na ato all those information and then not only that, thousands of I mean, financing sources, etc., are available this, uh, online today. And uh, you have to seek help from where available, uh, say anywhere available. Do uh, plan ahead of time. For instance, for instance, like some of the other things, at least uh, say you need uh, about uh, one year's uh, preparation. Advent of na take you well ahead of time. Prepare to home take you next please. And be a person smart. Ako na take you university na take college na mga apply to ding ita apply to ding ita ay gi qualification si si mga tamduy ba dugi appropriate academic background na malibot tangi. Aduga, sagi extracurricular activities, 
uh, they always look for a, an all-rounder, just a student. Advantage to na tagi study goals align with the career objectives. To carefully work out how to I do the sega when a specially postgraduate tamat sa kini to kanto ito document na makakiyawe the SOP na statement of purpose na masisi so na ina sa kaya eighty percent ninety percent na is scholar ba yai do that is one criteria for assessment for admission. Aduga, sigi, tell me no purpose in a hybrid data. You have to write a very, very convincing note. Nana tong insi kai no, tadi mui tamaga data in nana tong yang kalis kai no. Adu mana tu per sigi, anu pas apa mui ye, kano ma SME ira ke pibo musangi. Adu adu yang anu ida admission board sina tadi they they can assess your quality whether you will be fit for the program and then whether you will make the best out of the program. At the mind of the see SOP, even see, uh, we have to be very careful. Okay. Academic transcripts and uh, <coughs> grade point <coughs> average, nangi marking. Uh, say some of the courses will need the standardized test scores like uh, CMED, CRE, etc. And the proof of language proficiency will be demanded by every college and uh, uh, universities. So I'll be I'll be giving this, uh, some of the information about these uh, different tests and the letters of recommendation. There should be there should be some people, at least two or three uh, people from your previous college, to write uh, something good about you. This uh, recommendation about you. So that you will uh, be needing when you apply for admission anywhere in, the, in a college or university. Next, please. So, uh, oh, so here are some of the <coughs> standard uh, uh, graduate admission tests. So by graduate, I mean when you go for, uh, say, uh, master's degree courses. Master's degree course, they quite are, they say, they can develop and listen to the graduate, they can learn to go, I do my card, they can get a BSC to me, and they can undergrad, and they can learn. And then, and then, my postgraduate program, and then, they can learn to do that. If you're going for a management course, it's like MBA, then you'll be needing the GMAT, graduate management admission test. And uh, when you go for the say masters in engineering or uh, say any of the masters in other subjects, some of them demand GRE graduate record examination. This is another international uh, test. And then if you want to go for law, postgraduate law studies, then you'll be needing this LSAT, law school admission test. And if you want to go for medical admission. And the veterinary admission, especially in uh, US and Canada, you will be writing an examination called MCAT. Next, please. <coughs> so, GMAT is administered by uh, this uh, GMA Council, and the uh, purpose is for seeking admission in uh, business schools. And uh, the test is for three hours, and the uh, and uh, the test is, has uh, a few components, like four components, analytical writing, essay, and a quantitative test, and then verbal test, and the integrated uh, reasoning. So essay writing, I, have, uh, I want to have a special mention about it here. Essay writing is a very useful tool for the assessors to know you, this is your analytical thinking ability and a critical thinking and then this uh, identification of the purpose and so all those they will know easily when this, they look at the essay uh, you write and uh, essay writing this uh, you have to develop this uh, your skills to the maximum because uh, this there's a real emphasis on this uh, when you apply for admission 
and the course material expenses, accommodation, food, travel and commuting, visa cost, and uh, health insurance, personal expenses, and uh, opportunity cost. Opportunity cost means if you were already working, then uh, leaving the job and then going for the study for two years, for example, and the one year, and then during that much of time, you lose the salary, right? And so that's the opportunity cost. So uh, you have to say, take into account all these uh, different costs and then work out uh, uh, whether you'll be able to afford it or not. Next. So the funding, you have to be very smart at uh, finding the funding and there are various kinds of funding and uh, the grants, grants are obtainable from uh, various organizations and uh, grants are the money given to you for your study and which need not to be returned to the uh, so it's different from uh, loan. And scholarships and fellowships, these two come under grants. But uh, how these scholarships are different from fellowships is that uh, scholarships are, say, both of them are merit and uh, merit based. And uh, scholarships are normally given to the undergrad studies students. And fellowships are given normally to the uh, higher studies say, uh, for postgraduates and then PhD programs, postdoctoral programs like that. But uh, they are often used interchangeably. And uh, bursary is another term. Uh, I don't know if uh, this is common here, but uh, uh, bursary is uh, a grant given to, uh, say, an economically weak uh, student financially weak uh, student. And uh, loan is uh, the money you get from uh, various sources, maybe the government or some banks, and uh, so at some uh, particular inter interest, and you have to return the money. And the award and the prize are given by, say, some specific uh, uh, interest groups to the students, uh, say, according to their own criteria of selection. Next. So, uh, <clears throat> looking at the entire scenario, uh, while there are thousands of sources for the, the say, uh, study funding, uh, personal funding constitutes 60% of the students. So, uh, from among the 60% who funded uh, their own uh, study by themselves, uh, some of them could have uh, avail of the funding from other, uh, say, grants from other funding uh, organizations uh, if, say, they were able to look at those things and then pinpoint them and then pick it up. But uh, they failed to do that and so that's why just, uh, they funded themselves. And institutional funding can be, again, it's merit-based, some are merit-based, some are need-based, some are university specific and uh, course specific, subject specific and uh, career specific, demographic specific, country specific, ability specific, by which uh, it means uh, for the handicap uh, uh, there will be money available for them. And then uh, some still can be non-specific. Next. So where to look for? Now, this, uh, you know that uh, the funds will be required and then uh, there are various kinds of funding and then now you have to know where to look for the funds. And uh, the first you have to look for is uh, at the home country or the host country governments. They have plenty of programs to support the students. So for example, you live in India and you want to go to Canada and then there are there's uh, various financial support programs, scholarships and fellowships run by the Indian government. And uh, then again, this, uh, there are plenty of programs run by the Canadian government under many of their organizations. 
And so it's for you to locate. So with funding, uh, the, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, you need to access. And uh, universities uh, themselves have their own funding programs. And uh, <coughs> Uh, education uh, institutes. So universities in US and uh, Canada, at least I know, when you uh, apply for admission, you are accepted and then you become a student and uh, there are certain scholarships uh, that automatically come to you. Just, you don't need to apply separately for the funding. But uh, this, your, application, uh, your application for admission itself is enough for uh, their consideration to forward you the financial assistance. And uh, there are thousands of charities, trusts, societies, and special interest groups uh, in the world, just the world, ready to support you. I want to mention about uh, my personal experience in this. Uh, say, when I couldn't be uh, in any of the university as a faculty, but uh, I was working as a, as a state government officer here. But I still managed to go for international trainings, some of them, say, uh, in Japan, in the Netherlands, and in Czech Republic. And then I attended uh, many of the conferences uh, in uh, four or five countries. How did I manage Is that uh, I look for supports, uh, so not only from the conventional sources, but, but uh, from other sectors. So the charities, there's once when I went to Canada, before I actually moved there, uh, I went to Canada to attend a conference. And uh, then I tried looking up uh, several funding sources. And uh, then I applied, I requested one of the say, philanthropic organizations and then uh, the luck clicked, and then I got assistance, full assistance. And so, so with that, uh, I was able to travel. So what I mean to say is that uh, you shouldn't confine yourself to, say, some of the sources you know, but uh, there are many others. And uh, those sources are not very difficult to look for today uh, in the internet age. Those days, I had to go to a big library and look up uh, this, uh, <clears throat> and open all the pages of some of the uh, funding sources, uh, some of the books on uh, I mean, uh, academic funding. And uh, today, you don't need to do that. So just go uh, to the say, website of the particular organization and then uh, look for the criteria they want for consideration, and then you apply. So employer contributions are sometimes uh, helpful, and then student loans. Many people just uh, go to the bank, and the banks, uh, so they are happy to fund you if you are going for a meaningful study. And uh, many students come from uh, India, and including the students from Manipur, uh, they come to Canada with uh, loans they get from the Indian banks. And the uh, Research Council grant, this is uh, especially for the people who are going for the postgraduate and then at the level of PhD and the postgraduate uh, postdoctoral studies. Uh, most of the countries have uh, their uh, research councils, maybe the social science research councils or maybe the natural science uh, uh, councils. There are research councils. And for example, we have in India CSIR, and then uh, in, in Canada, this, uh, uh, it's a National Research and Engineering Research Council, so like that. So most of the countries have them, and uh, so you have to look out so what funding are available, and then uh, uh, you can apply. And uh, alternative funding options, crowd funding, there are many other kinds. And uh, portfolio funding is the one when you have you apply for one portion of the money requirement from one source, and then that is complemented by another. Uh, I mean, fund from another source. So that's called portfolio funding. And uh, student jobs. 
when you go from here to study in uh, the local countries, then uh, uh, there is a very well established system of uh, student part time jobs. And you can take up uh, some of the part time jobs and uh, without compromising too much uh, your studies. And uh, that uh, that earning can supplement uh, significantly to your study cost. And so this is widespread, and all the universities, all the colleges will have uh, uh, a particular office for helping the international students. Uh, so, and then they arrange the placements. And there are two kinds of uh, work permit there. One is called in-campus work permit, and uh, so for the jobs available within the campus, and uh, then off-campus work uh, permit, uh, under which you can go outside the campus and then look for opportunities outside. And uh, for some competent students, if they can get, uh, say, uh, a job in their own profession uh, in, under the off-campus work permit uh, program, then the earning is so big that uh, it can uh, completely meet the entire limit of the OSD course. So in that case, studying in, say, Bangalore or Hyderabad will be more expensive than study, uh, studying in Canada or uh, US. Next, please. So, this is one example about uh, the, <coughs> the scholarship for going to uh, studies in the US, the Fulbright Fellowships, and uh, this is uh, administered by the uh, US India Educational Fund. And uh, this is the office concerning this area, Manipur, uh, is in Kolkata. So you can look up their website or you can write a call and find out. And there are uh, hundreds of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, fellowships and scholarships available with them. Next please. And another uh, is very common, Commonwealth Fellowships and Scholarships in India. And again, see, since 1958 till now, there have been 29,000 students who have availed of the, uh, this scholarship. And you can go to all the Commonwealth countries uh, for taking up your studies under this program. And so at the rate of 29,000 uh, during the period since 1958, this, uh, you can say easily calculate that uh, every year I think that there must be about 500 or 600 students going abroad uh, we're under this program. Next please. So you have to know about the selection criteria. First, say uh, they'll be looking at the academic credentials and the professional ability, uh, say, uh, uh, which is expressed by your application. And uh, merit of the proposed project. Very often you'll be writing a say, project proposal, especially when you go for the uh, master's or PhD or postdoctoral uh, program. At that time, so uh, they will be looking at the proposal you submit. And uh, then the next is motivation, maturity, leadership, and adaptability. And uh, <clears throat> the third is ability to contribute. Uh, okay, so Canada. Now, I'd love to talk about Canada as a very good destination for the students. Canada is among the uh, is the top among the 65 developed countries under OECD in school education uh, based on a report uh, of the OECD in 2012. And uh, it has a world-class higher education and the uh, tuition fees are always lower than US, UK, Australia and uh, New Zealand where many people go. And so when you go to Canada, 
this, uh, the, um, the education cost, the tuition fees will be lesser. And uh, the lower cost of living, Canada is cheaper. Uh, this Toronto, the third biggest, uh, for North America, the third biggest uh, city. New York is the biggest, Mexico is second, and Toronto is third. Aduga affordability, the living cost, uh, there are 60 cities in the world more expensive than Toronto. So that means uh, the living cost is uh, lower uh, in uh, Canada. A safe country and uh, multiculturalism. Uh, it's very peaceful. Say, uh, Toronto, ga, Chicago, ga, city, and it's compared to where uh, in population wise. Aduga, and it's compared to a country da, when uh, Toronto has about, uh, say, uh, 5 million people, and Chicago has 5 million people. Aduga, gun related crimes and death, Toronto, da, the same, da, about 60 people die from gun-related uh, crimes, and uh, uh, Chicago has 600 people. Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, the crime rate is 10 times higher in the U.S. Uh, the multiculturalism, she went to get Canada, the uh, constitutionally uh, there are many necessary laws and regulations to uh, give a comfortable life to people of various ethnic origin. Everybody, uh, say whether a newcomer or an old resident, they live comfortably there. So the racial discrimination is uh, not visible there. Whereas we hear about uh, the racial, uh, racial discrimination in Australia and uh, then uh, in U.S., even this, uh, uh, you'll feel this uh, uh, racial discrimination, the existence of it. Aduga, excellent programs for linking to work permit and uh, permanent resident visa. Canada is mind away. Can you see student in a select candidate? Say you land today in Canada as a student. From next day, uh, you can apply for the off-campus work permit. So, which gives you uh, this uh, an excellent opportunity for earning from, I mean, at a higher pay. Not a survival job, but uh, even in your professional uh, field. <coughs> Two years ki study program, the target day, Canada government is the uh, three years ki uh, open work permit in MP. Uh, three years ki wa open work permit si lower ga aduga Canada thabak to wa hawa ka anreda. The day you complete one year of work in Canada, then you are eligible to apply for the permanent resident visa. The permanent resident visa I see US ki green card in Hainabudu wa dugumman. In the US, uh, so it normally takes about 10 years to uh, get your green card. But in Canada, uh, from the day you land as land in Canada, uh, then it takes, uh, say, about four years. So within four years time, including your study period of two years, and then one year of work, and then a waiting time for about uh, a year, then uh, you get a permanent resident visa. So that is a big uh, attraction to the uh, international students. An exciting campus life and uh, Olympic standard uh, sports amenities. Things are very nice over there. And uh, the, the campus environments are always safe. You know, then the students are very happy. This, they lead a very happy life. And uh, so the campus life, uh, will be quite different from the one we see here. Next. 
So <clears throat> applying for a study permit uh, takes two steps. One is to secure admission in a college or university. And uh, so when you apply for uh, study permit, these documents will be required. Uh, admission acceptance letter from the college or university and uh, medical examination report will be required and uh, police clearance sometimes, not always and uh, proof of fund, uh, you have to arrange uh, say some money uh, to support yourself and so uh, what normally uh, is done is that you deposit uh, about uh, $10,000 uh, with a designated Canadian bank and then uh, you get uh, this guaranteed income certificate GIC from the bank and then you, you have to submit that document and uh, a valid passport of course and uh, <clears throat> admission process uh, you can apply online uh, using the internet or you can apply this on paper also at uh, visa application centers BSCs uh, there are about five or six BSCs uh, in India and then all the Canadian High Commissions. And uh, interview required sometimes, not always. And uh, letter of introduction and the temporary residence visa issued by the Canadian High Commission. So the paper, after application, the, um, the letter you get is not the study permit. But the, the Canadian High Commission in India, they will give you one paper that is called the letter of introduction. And with that, you will travel to Canada. And uh, at the airport in Canada, you will submit it to one authority called uh, the CBSA, Canadian Border Services Agency. And uh, they are the authority to issue the study permit to you the, when you already land in Canadian Airport. Next page. Okay, so these uh, have already been mentioned by me. This uh, off-campus work permit and a post-graduation work permit and a quick permanent resident visa. These are the three attractions to uh, the international students these days. Next page. There are <coughs> various sources of funding uh, when, say, uh, we leave to Canada. And uh, there's a website called WWW Scholarships and Bursaries, GCCA. And the Scholarships Canada is another one. And uh, then uh, from the Research Council, uh, NSERC, and then CISRE is uh, Canadian Institutes of uh, Health Research and a Social Science and a Humanities Research Council and then a Canadian Institute for Advanced Research. So all these uh, have different programs of funding uh, this, uh, international students worldwide. Next page. Aduna, Canada has supported uh, if you plan properly and carefully, in the other tambadagi, and especially when you avail of the international scholarships and the fellowships, fellowship scholarship, and the fellowship scholarship, and the fellowship when you take up part time job, and uh, when both are combined, and at the minor token, part time job to when I was data, some can be, say, you know, the office job or VI, even restaurant food server or VI, the receptionist or VI, I do, I do know, in high country, I like them in lab, the guy is leader. Uh, restaurant worked already in uh, Khanbagi Kasuda College uh, because uh, that's the norm. And uh, the Canadian students also they go for part time jobs. Uh, my daughters, they say during their high school days from grade 9 to 12, 
uh, they went out and uh, so they work at uh, uh, say places. Advanced uh, organization, part time job to oversee the meat for the market, and uh, not say only for the immigrants like us, but uh, the Canadian white everybody. At the point of time, we have to know what they need and what they need. We have to start to work in the talk, say workplace, some of the talk. Aduga, tabak suru ba, orang tua bersih bersih, life skill orang tua ba, aduga, aduk lagi, mungkin self management orang tua ba, aduk main tua, aduk lagi, opportunity yang mana ini mungkin lawe, aduna, aduk dignity of labour sabtana lay, aduna, mian mana, sagi, respect nama the work of mana hari ka, not necessarily we have to look down for ni, oh, mana saya pisalik aduna suri ni, na high, anu, lagi, mui Vancouver da. Mani pribu sam leh, ma selaga kena ada master degree topa. Nama part time job topa ni, tadi restoran mereka orang selaga. Ado, mai muda, mai muda di mas, mama ni am, tu nanti orang kena orang tu mana, hek, ni, ima tu piro, tu sakit, tu kena tu, tu kalau mi jual ngang ni dah na, ado main topa ni, tu na. Mana ada kita telefon dah high jadi mama ada. Ismail tu nak mai ke restoran tu, mai ke tabuk tu win. Kaya kita win, Ismail tu mayam, tu put mai ke sah tak pibo korba ke Dubai. Ada hotel boleh tu ni nengko, boleh sih high tak kat eh. Ada mama tu kape. Ana malir ini, ana. Kui sila ibu nak sagi kan untuk dia dari mana mama tu high berdua tu 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 cari oh senang so tu muka tu tau boleh ko ina hai tapi lain tu macam kerja nak sagi ada hotel atau macam tolong dia na aduh senarai tu kau ina kangu dah nak tau ini tu kan thank you pada dia ada aduh na mama sagi in prayers over macam tau le lagi is living a very hard life aduh dah kau ina main low ya ti like that's a part of life. Uh, as in a part-time job is a very well-established, well-structured program, and uh, all the university and the college campus they have, uh, say, offices for helping all the students and particularly the international students. Next, please. Uh, <coughs> Seek your website and you see in Bakandre da, you'll get the, a lot of information. Uh, so from a single source, uh, say topuniversities.com is one, and then <coughs> brengenmag.com uh, is another one, and there are others also. But uh, just uh, going to uh, these two websites, you'll get a lot of information and uh, a lot of tips. Uh, which uh, I didn't cover uh, in my uh, lecture. Next. So that's the end of it. And uh, if uh, there's any questions, then I'll take. Hello? Any questions? My name is Tulsi from JLB Chandel. What is the main aim of the Dynamic Manipur True Study Award? Okay, um, the main object I believe, because uh, I think that the uh, question is not for me, but uh, still I'll make an attempt to answer that. Uh, because uh, today we live in a uh, global village. And the opportunities are open to the entire people in the world. And then the competitions are also worldwide. So we have to pass everybody in the world, as I saw in my slide. Uh, 22 million people move from one place to another every year. And then at any single point of time, 4.5 uh, million students stay away from their country. So that means people are moving, looking for opportunities, better things. 
And so dynamic Manipur wishes to say uh, provide information to you that uh, this is what is going on, and then after that it's up to you. Just because uh, going abroad doesn't make sense, or uh, say uh, it makes sense to me. So that's uh, for you to decide. But uh, we we need to know about uh, what's going on in the world. And then uh, we have to say inform our youth, particularly that uh, if you want to get, say, uh, if you want to avail of the better opportunities for study, higher study abroad, then this, you know how to go there, and then you have to know where they are. So that's the objective, I think, I believe. Thank you. Ning Singh Chaba Matana. Question hang bata dynamic Manipur ki activities ki matang da natapa. Nasa yeh presentation tau ki bagi matang gawin na hangi na ba hai tari. Dagi lockup chaba maga question hang bagi interaction ki section se 15 minutes tak ang pija bani. Ado ka question hang bata sing da koi encouragement ti ba koi na koi na gift package matcha am tanga yeh tak chaba yeh tau bani. So first question hang hang bata maga. तो सीधा किसी चीज़ की पैकेज में काम करने से के तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो माय नेम इज़ रॉबर्ट एक्चुअली आई वांट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द इंटरव्यू ऑफ़ दिस अ इन द इयर 2010 आई वेंट टू अमेरिका फॉर फॉर कोर्स ऑन कार्पेंट्री एंड देन व्हेन आई फेस द विज़ा इंटरव्यू इन कोलकाता कंसुलेट एंड देन the way how the visa interview was conducted, it was more like a very arrogant type. Like they asked me questions like you have already completed your two year uh, postgraduate degree, two postgraduate degree, and why you want to be a carpenter. All this kind of visa interview, I mean the way how they behave in the interview and all these things are very arrogant, intolerant. Is that the same thing with the Canadian? And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry to hear, yeah. Sorry to hear about your uh, bad experience, uh, but uh, uh, there's one thing about the uh, uh, visa interviewer. Uh, number one, visa and uh, visa officers have a high discretion uh, about uh, say, giving the visa. Uh, about the decision, uh, say, every, uh, I mean the decision goes uh, strictly according to their perception about uh, who you are and then what your intention is. And so very often the visas are declined when they find this uh, a gap between, so, uh, like you said, you had the, 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 that much of uh, qualification and then uh, you're going for a carpentry program. And so they don't add up. In their eyes, they don't add up. And so, uh, then they suspect that, uh, okay, so you are going there, once you go there, and then just, uh, you may not be coming back. And so that's one big reason. And uh, even this year, uh, there was a Manipuri girl uh, who got an admission offer from a Canadian college, and then uh, she couldn't get the visa. It was declined uh, because there was a uh, there was a uh, study gap, and uh, she, I mean, she was applying for the study after about uh, seven or eight years of, uh, say, working in China and then in India. And uh, so the reason probably was uh, that uh, the same thing; it doesn't add up. So she must be planning to go to uh, Canada. And once they, she goes there, then, then she will be staying there. That's the plan. And that was the real plan also, in fact. So the visa officer always look at all those things uh, and then decide. If they suspect that your intention is something else than the study, then they won't give you the visa. Ah, hello sir. Uh, I'm Thangal Jumnam sir, now a research associate in IBSC. 
is this, sir, is there any indoor uh, Canadian fossil scheme is there? And right now, which institute in Canada is uh, uh, number one in basic research? And at what time that fellowship uh, is available? Uh, in, in what field? Uh, in basic science, biological science. Biological science. Yeah. Um, I say I cannot uh, give you uh, with that precision. This this is the best institute because, uh, 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 to be honest, I do not have the information about uh, say uh, which university is good uh, for what kind of studies. But uh, uh, the best thing for you is to. Uh, look up the National Sciences and Engineering uh, Research Council of Canada and that, then they have all the listings and then the universities and the various programs and then the funding information also. And uh, then uh, another source of information for you could be the Association of Canadian Universities. And uh, so in their website again, they have uh, the full list of the universities and then the programs they have, and then the, uh, say the centers of excellence and all those things. So, so uh, offhand, uh, right now, this, uh, I cannot, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not able to give you that uh, information. Any more? Uh, thank you, sir. I, I am Ratan from the STO Men's College. Uh, my name is Dr. Ratan from uh, Quaker Hill. Uh, I would like to have a couple of submissions to you that first. Uh, anyway, I would like to speak to the Manipuri. Sir, I have a question for you. 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 Part time job in Canada. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Magi societies na part-time jobs di magi dignity of labor, skill labor siya na increase daw. But in India and like in Manipur also, Manipur dadi say for example, ay di isa na kaga ay di luna bi na kaga sari luna bi siya na part-time jobs ito ba matam dadi? For example, sam masig dignity of labor siya, masig itang ano na yeng madalong tao eh, masig kuhan na bagi pambay siya sa masig Karam ba mong da taka lagi si ni ang tamdaya si. Thank you sir. Manipura. Oh, that that's a very difficult question for me. Maybe some colleges. Yeah, this dynamic Manipur. Yeah, maybe looking at that thing because. When there is a positive vibe in the society, uh, then uh, say when we introduce things, today we hear at least uh, say about uh, 100 people sitting here. We are we are discussing that thing. Dignity of labor is there, and then people work not necessarily for uh, money, but uh, uh, say taking it as an I mean, opportunity for. Uh, learning life skills and other things in Canada, in the US, and then in the UK. So, uh, uh, say we agree, right? And then we appreciate this thing. And then uh, so slowly, just uh, you'll be spreading the same uh, information to other people, and then uh, say one day uh, we'll be having a similar kind of uh, system over here. So that's how just we can achieve because. Uh, uh, good things are good things, and uh, so that, that's what uh, we are trying to bring to Manipur. Sir, Sir I'm Lakshmi Salam from Jen Lee Chandra. Sir, my question is, which is more reliable to study abroad or in our own country? Uh, reliable. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's a uh, say it depends. There are times when uh, say 
uh, you specialize in such a thing that uh, you're not very satisfied with the facility available within uh, India. So because of that, uh, say, you could be going to uh, some other uh, uh, countries where uh, the facility you need may be available. So many scientists from India go to the US and then they work there and then, so they, then uh, they earn <clears throat> a lot of experience and achievement and then including the Nobel Prize, Harkovinda Korana, right? And so those kind of opportunities, uh, because if they, he continued working here, then uh, there's a, he's his uh, potentials could have been terminated by the lack of facility over here, right? So in that kind of a situation, it makes sense. And then again, there are people this, uh, who may like to earn more, uh, say, going to Canada and then going to US and then take up a study program and then make themselves more employable in the, the uh, global employment market or in uh, Canada, and so the salary is there is a the big difference, right? Uh, so, so that way, this, uh, for that interest, uh, the, he or she could be going also. So, reliable, reliable study uh, is subject to this, uh, what your purpose is and then what your personal circumstances are. Do you have a question? Oh, yeah. uh, sir, I, I give you this amount of Dynamic Manipur Facebook key member of Nisha. I give you this amount of Sir, I have a question, sir. Canada province has a Saskia Saiwan, Manitoba, British Columbia, Ontario. So, the university systems may only go, sir. I know that Toronto and Ontario are very competitive. University members the admission system process the am competitive way in the sir. When compared with Ontario and uh, Toronto, how the rest of the provinces in Canada in, okay. in terms of competitiveness in uh, uh, getting admission to uh, higher, uh, universities for higher studies? Okay. Uh, within Canada also. Uh, there is a competitive uh, performance ranking of the universities and uh, most of those uh, high ranking universities are concentrated in Ontario uh, including say McMaster University, University of Toronto and then uh, this one, University of Waterloo like that and uh, uh, then some of the universities uh, high ranking are uh, scattered in uh, say McGill University in uh, Montreal and then uh, University of British Columbia in uh, Vancouver, right? So <clears throat> when uh, people try to go to the uh, say higher ranking universities then uh, so obviously there will be competition, right? People will want to go there and so uh, the competition will be higher there. And the universities, uh, uh, some of the universities in uh, other provinces like Saskatchewan, Manitoba, uh, they do not rank very high and so that way it is the competition will be lesser over there. So uh, in Ontario also there are certain weaker universities where you'll get admissions very easily. So not necessarily or uh, say comparison between the provinces, but uh, the comparison is among the universities. Did I answer correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, how is the weather like? Sir, uh, weather, weather say, uh, how is the weather like? I heard that uh, when compared to North American other other countries, uh, Canada has very long winter and the winter is very severe. So can, can you please can you elaborate about your experience? Weather uh, about Canada. So when when somebody hears about Canada, then the first impression they have is cold. It's a cold country. But uh, it's cold in the northern uh, areas and uh, still this uh, say, uh, most uh, population concentration is along the line 
uh, borderline with the US, and that is the southern portion of uh, uh, Canada. Less colder, but it's still much more colder, I mean, much colder than uh, uh, Manipur. So in winter, the temperature can go to the minus uh, 30, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, occasionally, sometimes, not, not, not always. But, uh, it's colder here, it's colder in Manipur, and it's colder in Delhi, because uh, we are exposed to uh, the harsh uh, I mean, uh, weather, and over there, this, uh, the exposure is very less. For example, its house has uh, a heating system, the central heating system, and you have your, all your cars, buses, workplaces, and then the shopping mall, all are climate, I mean, climate controlled. Yeah. So your house is with a thermostat, you fix a, a particular temperature, and then that will be there. And so outside it may be uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius, but the inside, uh, so I can live uh, with a teaser. I don't need anything. But uh, here in winter, this uh, even when you are indoors, you have to put on something this uh, thick on your back, right? And then you have to sit by my food. And uh, <laughs> so <coughs> this is not required over there. And so it's not cold. It's not. I mean, uh, say um, it's much lesser than what you think. Uh, oh, wait, 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 one second. Because of the time factor, we'll have to limit the question. We have only two minutes left until we start our next round of questions. So I would like to welcome just two more questions. Oh, we have a gentleman here. Yeah, it's a demand question. Instead of uh, knowing these uh, climates and others, I think this question is very important to us. So let me switch to Manipur. Manipuri. So I know how do it. So you see. Either I talent me am sister stars to bagi or I ke sending ba me am singira ida counseling pi bagi ani singira ina khanja bata sa singira ina hangja ringi o koi jesi de koi ke Mumbai University na tulsi tatha ka tulsi avatar se direct mat hand pick tor ga khan ni bus mai to kana sargi ke pas de is dei da koi education ya na chokat hanin ko itar ga de koi mat talent khara mani puta lai de khala se sir na phazana lead tor ga you and my Nobel Prize from the University Stanford, from the certain little of Namibara or Sigumberg, is it over the Gavan Luke? Have a question, Sammy. I do not regret the profit oriented organization among the Mutas. When a CC's man put money in a mean a low giver than Lana, low good ra, a high of any choice at this day after the view. Okay. I give you, sir, must see a research scholar. Robotics, thank you. Stanford, any Ivy League University, US key, Amada, Sakir Kankandri, the Oregasu, Sagi, the kind of information I gave today uh, in my lecture that still will be useful. Aduna Sagi Adu Hawagi Provision Kapi and Abu Honor Badu Adudagi Henba Sagi Aina say you particularly university about the Bing Sambagi Adrida if I commit that oh yes I'll be able to help you get admission there then this I'll be I'll be wrong because that that's a that's a false commitment. So during my lecture this, uh, I uh, never try to give you an information that uh, I will be able to get you admission in a particular university. But uh, this was a general information for everybody. Anybody who wants to go outside if you want, then uh, what kind of information sources are there? And then what kind of preparedness should be there? And then, uh, so what are the procedures required? And so that is, there, there lies the limit. And then uh, uh, I didn't go beyond that. And so I hope uh, you will not misunderstand me or uh, dynamic uh, Manipur uh, uh, about uh, this presentation. This, this was a, uh, for, just for the purpose of information for uh, the desired people.
Thank you. One last question. <laughs> Sir, I'm Anjali Aiko from Tangta Junior School. And my question is, in Manipur, maximum students after passing their 12th aims only for medical and engineering. What do, what do you think about this? And please tell us what other things that can be done rather than this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this question should have been posed to the education department uh, of uh, Manipur. <laughs> we know that, uh, say, uh, yeah, while trying to answer her question, this, uh, I just want to give you the information that uh, the educational system is very well structured for uh, the learning abilities, different learning abilities of the student community in, uh, say, uh, developed countries. And here, this, uh, we are not that successful in uh, structuring the education system uh, to meet the requirements of the students because the students have different learning abilities. And uh, we cannot, uh, say, give a blanket education to uh, the students. And so for those students who, say, have the aptitude and ability to go for higher studies, then this, their study program will be structured and then they will be guided towards that corridor. And then uh, for those uh, who do not have the, that capability, they will be directed towards the more job-oriented uh, courses. And so we uh, say we need to have uh, that kind of a education system here. And uh, we can propose that to the education department in Manipur. So <laughs> that's my answer. Thank you. I have one last question. Uh, if there is anyone in the crowd who wants to ask more questions, you will get your chance. Uh, White Girl Immigration Consultants and Education is organizing a uh, 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 a go to Canada campaign on 5th October, that is on Sunday at GP College. So you're most welcome to attend the campaign and you can ask anything you like to sir. He's most welcome. <laughs> so I have just one last question. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, my name is Monica, I'm a student of Temple College of Art. Sir, my question is this. There is, any, there is any more facility given to Indian students to study in Canada, not only scholarship? Uh, there are a few bilateral programs uh, between Canada and the U.S., uh, but uh, uh, that's at the level of uh, research studies and uh, not at the, the undergrad level or at the postgraduate level. At the postgraduate level, uh, they have a say a program, joint program for funding a short study program, about three months or four months uh, study project. Uh, and so, uh, other than that, the, there's no uh, other uh, program I know. And uh, still, this uh, uh, recently there has been another build-up uh, of, uh, say, understanding between uh, what is that called? This uh, association of uh, community colleges in Canada and uh, the government of uh, India. And they, they are making a fast-track visa uh, processing system for Indi the Indian students uh, who want to go to Canada. Uh, but that's not a scholarship or anything, but that is just to facilitate and encourage more people uh, who want to go to Canada. But it has, uh, we have been trying several times, the green one. Yeah, let's take this question. And, uh, that can be fine. Sorry, give me a big update. I am not a sir. You know, sir, education system is Canada education system is different. I am not a Canada is quite a good sir. I am confusing. Thank you. Thank you. I hope. 
Tak lah, nanti pun sendok kau itu tu. Jadi ke India ki education system ka, Canada ki education system ka ki different sama. Aduh ke matang dana. Canada je nak pilih ki apa macam la, ki lari ke mana sah. Okay. Ah, if I go for say explaining the differences between the Indian education system and the, the Canadian education system, then uh, this uh, I'll have to take another one an hour to uh, cover all the things. But uh, basically, basically, uh, is uh, say I answer to another question. Um, uh, the education system is uh, well structured for students having different learning capabilities. Uh, and so that structuring is more complete in Canada than in uh, India. Though India has uh, uh, a similar program, but uh, uh, they are, theirs is more systematic and uh, uh, more polished. So th that's, what, uh, that's how I want to compare between the two. And uh, in Canada, the best place for study, uh, say we don't have to talk about the place, but uh, we have to talk about, talk about the institution, a particular university or a college. And then again, when we come down to that question, uh, we have to say uh, refer to a particular discipline you want to take up, because. Uh, not a single university is uh, good uh, for all the uh, say different disciplines. So one particular university may be good at, uh, for example, University of Waterloo is very good at uh, computer sciences and engineering, right? And then uh, this, uh, the McMaster University is uh, known for their uh, medical studies program. And then where is uh, uh, Queen's University is famous for their uh, MBA program. So it depends on the particular study you want to take up. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to much. apologize from Dynamic Manipur side because I cannot welcome any more questions because of the time factor. So we would like to conclude the interaction section here. If there is any more question, we have a break time uh, after this. So you can like feel free to ask yourself, uh, ask sir any questions. Uh, and also, I would like to call upon uh, Kaka Bireshor to hand over uh, our small gift of appreciation to Dr. Raj. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your attention to uh, my lecture, and uh, uh, I'll be having the a business information seminar at DP College uh, on uh, uh, Sunday at uh, one o'clock, and uh, there will be more t-shirts like the one I saw uh, today. And so, uh, please come. If you want more information about the uh, immigration work and then the study uh, uh, in Canada, you're welcome. Thank you very much.